Conflicting voter guides are confusing Republican voters in St. Johns County. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Riley Phillips and I'm Heather Crawford. So the county's GOP asked law enforcement to investigate fraudulent voter guides showing up in mailboxes. Zach Wilcox has been speaking with the organization's chair. He joins us now in the studio tonight. And Zach, the real guide and the fake guide look almost identical. Yeah, Riley, take a look for yourself at these things. The font, the style, you really can't even tell the difference, but I tell you what the biggest difference is. That's the names that are on these completely different names on the legitimate endorsement list and the illegitimate endorsement list. And uh, the, this even includes some races the GOP didn't endorse in. It's a shame and the, the people suffer for it. Jerry James was pleased to learn he earned the St. Johns County GOP endorsement for the Senate District 7 race. However, that quickly turned to disappointment when he learned his name was not listed on a voter guide some Republicans in St. John's County received in the mail. It turns out the GOP chair says that guide is a fake with none of the names the party actually endorsed. To be quite honest, I wasn't really that surprised. We have a very corrupted election system right now. They have put both the sheriff's race and the St. John's County clerk of courts race on here. Those weren't even considered by the party for endorsement. St. John's County GOP chair Denver Cook says the party printed 20,000 guides with the endorsements picked by members, which volunteers have gone door to door with to share with Republican voters. Just in the past few days, he's received dozens of calls and emails from confused voters who received the fake guide. Of copyright infringement and potential mail fraud and voter fraud on the eve of an election at the worst time for it to possibly come out. The worst possible case of voter fraud that I've ever encountered. He's taken the issue to the state elections office and the Florida Department of Law Enforcement for an investigation. After we find out who is behind it, we will then take civil action if that's, you know, the, the path that we believe should be done. In the meantime, Cook is worried about what the fake guides will mean for the integrity of the election. Could result in a lawsuit from a candidate overturning the elections and having to be redone. It's, this is a serious, serious issue. Right, so the easiest way to distinguish between the two guides is that the GOP did not mail any of its guides. They handed them out over the past few weeks. So if you have received one in the mail, it's likely the fake. And the GOP wants you to let them know so they can keep track of them and use them as evidence during the investigation. Right now, we don't know who is mailing them out. Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side. Zach, thanks so much. Well, early voting in the Florida primary election is now underway across our area. You can vote early in St. John's, Clay and Nassau County through August 17th. If you're in Duval County, you have until August 18th to cast your ballot early. Primary election day in Florida is August 20th.